So a second lift, you know, I don't know, but I'm really furious with this company coming to our city and doing this, and they know better. And staff has made mistakes. I don't know if staff is incompetent or complicit, but they've made three mistakes. The third mistake, a neighbor saw to install a dock, said that person had already been in front of our Board of Adjustment and knew it was illegal and went ahead and got permission. And now he has relied on the city. And I want to make these people whole if they are, in fact, harmed by our city. So that's an issue with the second dock. Did somebody put in a lift, excuse me, a lift? Did someone put in a lift? Were they harmed because they relied on the city or did they do it after the fact? All and right. these are issues we really need answers for. Okay. Um, so I'm not done. <coughs> I'm not done. I'm, d I'm just mad that all this happened <coughs> and our staff is doing this. This ordinance here tonight is nothing more than a quick fix for mistakes made by our staff. Because if we turn the 97 townhouses perpendicular, that relieves staff of their problems. It relieves the city of their problems. I'm not looking for a quick fix. If we need to change something, we need to go to the complete docking ordinance. We've been out in the canals. I went out in the canal a year ago with code enforcement. I went out <coughs> two years ago with code enforcement. We do not have enforcement. If we allow these perpendicular docks, who's going to enforce it? <coughs> we had staff agree to put in and agreed to permit a lift. It showed a 22-foot boat on that lift. Our laws, you're, you're, you're all talking about different feet, but right now on that canal, what is currently legally allowed is 20 feet into the canal. Our staff approved a lift <coughs> showing a 22-foot boat with a 27-foot encroachment. So maybe, on the other hand, we did approve lifts for perpendicular boats, but nobody in our staff ever approved a boat to extend beyond 20 feet. We didn't do it. So anybody who's done it is, the, the lifts, the piles are all in there legally, they're all within their rights. Perpendicular, if we approve, fine, but we never approved anything to extend beyond 20 feet. Now, we need to go back. I'm in agreement with Mr. Galvin, I, Councilman Galvin. I think we should go back before we just do a quick fix on these docks. We need to go back and address jet skis. Are they allowed perpendicular parallel? It's kind of silly that we've got these little jet skis. If they really, in fact, need to be parked perpendicular, we need to address that. But we need to work on our code enforcement. <coughs> Another thing that we have um, <coughs> dealt with with city attorney uh, Mr. Ro Mr. Galdos, there is an issue called a D5. This is a Dade County ordinance. It has to do with site. We haven't really addressed that. D5 applies to all docks in Dade County. And I personally have looked at about 20 ordinances of neighboring South Florida waterfront communities. Our rules are very fair. They're not worse than anybody's. Uh, several say parallel, some don't speak to parallel. A lot of them speak to setbacks. Now what you have on homes is, if you look at the D5 or other ordinances, they talk about 10-foot setbacks. If you have a 10-foot setback for your dock or lift on a town hose, you don't have any, you don't have any dock, because if it's a 20-foot property, you don't have any setbacks. A D5 is what your neighbor's going to see. So what are we doing to the people's neighbors? You've got this perpendicular dock lift. You don't have any kind of D5 site requirement. So the person next door, boat comes up, big 20-foot boat, 25-foot boat is sticking out. Now you don't get to see anything because it's right up to your property line. If your neighbor on the other side puts up a perpendicular boat lift, you've and these boat lifts, the piles are about less than a foot from your property line. So you're looking at two, four sets of pilings, and now you've got someone on the other side. You now have pilings. You're in a tunnel. Now you have a boat. You don't feel like spending twenty, thirty thousand dollars for a boat lift, and you've got your little boat. You can't just sideways your boat. You don't push a boat in sideways. So what are we doing? Are we thinking about the people? A lot of you have said 
You want to do it, you want to improve your property, but what are you doing to your neighbors who don't want docks? And I think this is something we should address before just jumping in, into this. And I think you have to look at the D5. You have to look at the fact you've got 90 lifts going in, 90 docks. You've got four pilings per dock. We're going to be putting 360 pilings into that canal. Do we care about that? We're not going to put 90. Well, if you can't park, then you're going to have no choice but to go parallel. So you're going to have 90 across. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, with Councilman Galvin that I don't think this ordinance is ready to be voted on this evening. I don't think it's right, and um, I'm ready to continue it if you are, and and look at our full docking ordinance. All right, let's table it. We need a motion. Move to continue this huh? until the, do you need two weeks? Do you need a month? I respectfully request that um, you give us uh, a month to come back to Donaldson. Move to continue this till the first meeting in the month of, excuse me, the last meeting in the month of April. Meanwhile, there won't be any citation issued, right? No citation. I, I, I was just going to seek um, some direction from the mayor and council on this because. No citations. Mm -hmm. No, we want to. We, we don't want to hurt the people mm -hmm. that relied so on that's us. Let them. Yeah, let them make the statement. That's exactly. Mm -hmm. I. I don't. If mm -hmm. you're tabling this for a month, mm -hmm. I don't think it would be fair for us to continue a code enforcement action against the very same people who are now waiting for us to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and for further clarification in my motion is that, or, or in, in my intent is that we don't cite anybody with jet skis either. No one. Um, Mr. Mayor, mm -hmm. just for clarification, we are tabling it in a month. We, you guys are going to come back, staff, with a stronger overall um, ordinance that, that covers everyone within the city, or what are we doing? So we'll go back and uh, we'll review this this actual text amendment that was brought before us, uh, we will address the address the issue globally for all the canals uh, and come back with a recommendation uh, on, on how staff believes we should move forward. Um, there are a, a few things you know that have been mentioned here tonight. Um, number one, um, I know Councilman Bienemy brought up the marina issue and maybe the language adds in there that boats need to be registered to the owners of the homes. Um, and some other things that will definitely tighten up the the or the, the text amendment, or there maybe we go back with our own ordinance, and we just tighten it up as we move forward. In, in Mr. Manager, okay. since the final decision we are going to make again, I'm going to stress the fact that whatever it is that we decide on as policy makers, as uh, we we are doing it with good faith on behalf of our city residents. Coming back with an ordinance, be it one month, six months, one year from now, it may not you know, satisfy the majority of the residents. So for that, I would call for e e the possibility of maybe one or two town hall meeting. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> we did it before. We had yeah. several. Hey, listen, we're we trying to get past this. This is something that's been going on for years. It didn't happen yesterday. It didn't happen last week. And I think town hall meetings... The residents will, will have ample, they will have more than two minutes to truly express themselves and to let us know what is it, you know, that you know, what the way they feel. I mean, I'm, this is only a, a suggestion what, what, for us to go with it. I think it's a good suggestion. Yeah. We did it in 2010. We yeah. held like three or four town hall meetings. With, with that being said, Mayor, if, 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 if mm. the number of the town hall meetings that you would like, um, I would ask that uh, instead of going to the last meeting in April then, if we're going to do the town hall meetings, I would like to push the meeting um, back to the, it will probably be the second meeting in May if I'm going to conduct town hall meetings and take, and take some of the input from the residents. I wouldn't want to just come and, and, and present mm -hmm. something and not take the input and go back and even listen to the input. So we'll come up with our plan and then have the town hall meeting take input and analyze the input from the residents and the individuals who attend the town hall. So I request, we re request that this be uh, added to the second meeting of May, sir. Our, our motion to continue the item until the m Tuesday, May 24th agenda. With the provision that the city will not be issuing any citation. Mm -hmm. I'll second that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
things, but what you're going to bring to the table by May 23rd, clearly. Over the because you already make your recommendation here, right? We've already made a recommendation. Um, it will be tightening up that recommendation that we have made, uh, listening to the residents and their concerns. But you've uh, been dealing with the issue for 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> you said you're going to talk to the residents. That means you've been talking with the resident for 16 years. It's like... I understand. We're, we have a new set of views. There, there, yeah. there are some, some, mm -hmm. some other items that we should consider, uh, Mr. Uh, Councilman B. Um, you know, one, especially the one that you did mention about that. other boats. So I want to, once we do come up with a complete analysis, we would like to present this analysis at the town hall meeting, uh, get input from the residents at that time on what we do present, and then we'll bring that back and we'll, if we feel we need to add and incorporate some of the, some of the, 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 the like verbiage uh, from the citizens, then we'll do so and come back in May. And but you, you come before us with the recommendation. It seems like you wasn't ready to, to bring the item before us for Again. you make a recommendation and now it's like you step back from your recommendation. Uh, and uh, say you no, we're, we're, yeah. we're not. And, and oh. as I did say, uh, Councilman Bietamay, through the mayor respectfully, uh, we're not backing off of the recommendation the staff made, made. I'm not backing off of that. I'm simply saying that I'm, we're going to go and make some adjustments to the recommendation and address it more in a global manner um, as it affects all of the waterways inside North Miami. So I'm not backing off our recommendation, but I would respectfully ask that we could go back and, and tighten up the, the recommendation and, and, and take it to the residents and the town hall meeting come back, evaluate what the resident's input was, and then come with the complete um, final recommendation the second meeting in May, sir. Okay. Okay, Mayor, I have a motion made by Councilman Galvin. The motion was motion to table continue. this item till, motion to continue this item till the May 24th, 2016 meeting. And that motion was seconded by Councilwoman Keys. All in favor? No, with with the pro no, there is another pro no. Next we didn't do. We don't need to incorporate that in there. You can. Uh, you can. This is what I'm saying. An attorney can correct me. We're basically tabling. Uh, uh, you guys are not um, um, approving with any amendments, so we're just tabling this. So I have to get the table vote first. And what about the citation you. issue? You can have directions to the city manager if you want, but I can't incorporate that in the motion okay. table. So okay. do um, all in favor? Aye. No. All opposed? No. Okay, item passes 4-1. Tab L. I'm sorry, Mayor and Council, would you like to address tab R before we go back? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah go ahead. Address tab R first. Yes. Because we did move L and M. Okay, so tab R, discussion regarding waste pro contract and services. Where are my police officers? <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Mr. Clerk. Through, through the... Oh, tab R. Oh, again, tab R. Oh. Discussion regarding waste pro contract and services. Now, what's the purpose of this again? Yeah. This was the, the direction of the board at the last meeting. The board asked us to come forward to discuss the waste pro contract and what was in the contract is for staff to do a brief presentation. Um, we have a very brief presentation that outlines, just strictly outlines the services of Waste Pro. We do have the presentation, but this is what the board asked for. I was just following. If, if you should. Well, no, I remember asking to put this on, on the agenda. Within that time frame, I met with Waste Pro. Um, we had had discussion, and they told me some of the issues. I, I share with them my concern, which other council members had. I was satisfied with, with because they still have um, they they still have some time to correct. And I think I, I called you after the meeting, and we went over some of the stuff. So that was it. So if anybody else had something, I'm I'm okay as 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 of as, as far as, as that right now. 
Well, you know, as for me, after our meeting, you know, I thought you know a lot of corrective actions were going to take place. Only to find out, I believe it was Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday, I ha I had a, I was driving on 12th Avenue Northwest. I stopped uh, by a constituent home, and uh, he was showing me his uh, trash can that you know he said for the whole week his trash was not picked up. Uh, again, um, yeah. 12th yeah, 12 Avenue Northwest, one, one, yeah, 120, he lives on 128. That's by me. Yeah. <laughs> you know why he's laughing? That's by. They would I'm normally. There, I'm right there as well. They right would, yeah, they would normally call or text or something, and, and I would. And, 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 and our, and our um, in the contract, Waste Pro, if they're notified, and which was part of the presentation, it just outlines. I, I would request there. Uh, uh, I think the presentation might take us five minutes to run through the presentation. <laughs> I, I would request it. I, I mean, if you don't want to do it, we don't have to do it. But the question is about what, what? If you're still getting complaints, complaints are. Com I'm just giving you one one complaint. I, I can even give you the phone number of, of the constituent. Okay. Yeah, please uh, forward I, it to yeah, my office. Because yeah, I'll, I'll give you his information. And it, the guy told me that for an entire week his trash was not picked up. And well, and that was after. I met with Wispo and because the, the the thing is that that's a problem which I don't I, I haven't had that problem except I had two incidents and we we were able to resolve those pro those problems so that's what I say if that's a concern let me know and talk to the other people next to to, the, to this particular person because a lot of times they put it out the, the wrong date um and and that we know because I, I remember there was one across the street from your dad they put it out on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And so it was a buck trash, and they had to wait till, and then they, we did call. Because if, if they do call you or call mm -hmm. me, we'll call the city manager, we'll send it. We had had instances where they missed it, the time, and then we will, but I never heard that they don't come and, at and all. And again, if, if, if individuals are missed, there is, the, the there is, we put it on the website. Now there's a link directly from the city's homepage to the Waste Pro to put your complaint in. Your trash wasn't picked up. Uh, myself and the inter incoming city manager have tested this. It works. Uh, and we have a phone number for individuals to call as well. You if they're trash go like, I know you were going to go there. Yes. There's a phone number listed as well. If you have a complaint, you call the number. If you leave a message, somebody calls you back. The problem it's is they don't know. So and, and that's I mean, our thing to educate. We need so to educate our residents. The, the, P, the, 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 the PIO, uh, the, um, the, um, Please emphasize that on the radio. And I did talk to Wastepoor about doing some other outreach to let the folks know, because this is a unique community, and, and, and it's very well probably half of the people don't even know what to do if their trash doesn't pick up. Okay. okay uh, are we going to allow the uh, presentation, short presentation? Well, uh, at, at this time, I, 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 I don't think the presentation is necessary. Uh, we'll continue with our education efforts uh, to educate the residents. And, our, and, and reach it out to the residents and let them know the proper channels. And we'll continue working with Waste Pro as we have been um, to ensure that the residents are receiving the services that they deserve and they pay for, sir. Sure. <laughs> All right. Okay, if I'm understanding right, um, there's no vote on tab R. Going back to the agenda, tab L. Tab L is a Larry proposed resolution of the mayor and city council of the city of North Miami, Florida, authorizing the uh, authorizing and approving the execution of an employment agreement with the city attorney in substantially the attached form, authorizing the interim city manager to do all things necessary to effectuate the terms of the agreement, providing for an effective date and for all other purposes. Mr. Mayor. Um at this time, the uh, the the individual, Mr. Jeff Kazo, is not here today. But I've been informed his attorney is here, and can speak on his behalf and make decisions on his behalf. Uh, should you have any questions for this yeah. evening, I I do. Um, Mr. Rowland. Which one are we doing now, manager or yeah, the city attorney? attorney is it tab L. L. Oh, okay. Is it? Is hmm. I guess that's legal, right? If 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 we have questions, so he'll be. You'll be able to negotiate for him? Uh, for the record, my name is Lawrence Michelle Freese. I'm from the law firm of Diamond, Catherine, and Rossi in Annapolis. Mr. Cazzo, 
who expresses his um, uh, apologies for not attending. He's presently attending a minority conference in Washington, D.C., and will be leading a delegation to Congress tomorrow. This was scheduled many months ago, and he apologizes for not attending. I do have authority to negotiate on behalf of Mr. Cazzo uh, within parameters, um, and I'm welcome on any questions regarding any Are you terms. his attorney? Yes, sir. Do we have that on record? Well, just we do pretty. now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have his card, so yes. yes. Um, no, I'm, I, I feel very uncomfortable uh, giving out a contract to someone this? Yeah, I, I without him being, him being here. Can we uh, can we table it for, for mm -hmm. next meeting? When he, will he be present at the next meeting? I am not aware of Mr. Cazzo's travel itinerary. He generally doesn't travel at all. This was scheduled months ago. Okay. Uh, it yeah. was deferred to the council yeah. if the council wants to defer it. Uh, Mr. Mr. Mayor, through you to Mr. Zasume, I agree. Mr. Cazzo, if he wants this high-paying $200,000 a year job, should be present, present and should have canceled his itinerary. So I agree. We, we just table it. This. Yeah. Can, can I make a motion to table it to the next? Um, yes, sir. Or, or no, go I'll, ahead, go ahead. I'll second Mr. Have Councilman a, DeSolme's motion. I have a motion made by Councilman um, um, De Desume. Motion to continue this item to the next council meeting. That motion was seconded by Councilman Galvin. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Item passes 4-1. Four four I'm zero. sorry, 4-0. Four zero. <laughs> Why do I keep disappearing? Okay, and I'm going to record Councilman Bienname's vote when he gets back to the day. He's back. Okay, right. Councilman Bienname, um I have a motion to table tab L. That motion was made by Vice Mayor Desume, Let's and it was seconded down. by Councilman Galvin. It's the uh, motion to approve the city attorney's contract. The tab discussing the city attorney's contract. You want to table that? For the yeah. next meeting. He's not he's here not tonight. Here. Uh, when is I'm sorry? Yeah, but the manager and, and I and the other members are a little uncomfortable uh, in, in, to talk to, yeah. to the mayor. Well, it, already, it was already approved like for zero. Oh, we already voted on it. Four zero, yeah, I just have to record your vote pursuant to the resolution the council passed. So how do you vote on tab L um, to continue tab L, Councilman Bienname? Um, no. Okay, so item was approved for one. Tab M, proposed resolution of the mayor and city council of the city of North Miami, Florida, authorizing and approving the execution of an employment agreement with the city manager in substantially the attached form providing for an effective data and for all other purposes. That is tab M. Oh, there is no staff presentation, so I guess public hearing? No? Anyone, we have, uh, I don't know, well, the public doesn't have copy of the actual contract, so they cannot opine on it. So, Is, is the contract, the contract is online, right? Is it? Yeah, okay. Well, no one is coming I for a public hearing, I so it's closed. I had a question. I thought something was changed. Um, I thought the annual, I thought we had agreed that the annual 3% increase was not going to be in there, that it would be the same as any of, if, if the other directors in the, and I spoke to Mr. Cazzo's attorney also, that if there was... No, we're we in the manager. I, I know, but I'm no, saying no, no, no. We, we're, we're trying to match and make them very similar, but I thought we agreed mm -hmm. that if um, the other directors, you would get the same increase as the other directors. If they got a 3%, great. If they got a 1%, you were getting the same as the other directors. I'm perfectly, sorry, uh, Larry Spring. Um, I'm perfectly willing to accept that term. That's perfectly okay. fine. Mr. Manager, Mr. Mr. Mayor. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to I see that before. I thought I, I'm just I'm promoting you to manager, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Spring, I'm a little disappointed with the, the, the contract, with your contract, because I know we met um, uh, regarding this contract, and we there were some terms and some stuff specifically we talked about, and when I looked at this, and which is fine, because I know you have five five of us there you got to take in, co in consideration and dealing with, but none of my um, suggestion, and I was not notified, at least, and, and I told Mr. Sorry the same thing, if you're going to keep something after we, we met and we agreed, and I thought on the one thing it was going to be at least suggested, you know, you'll, you'll think of it, at least give me the courtesy and say, well, you know what, um, Alex, I'm going to keep this um, on there for whatever reason. I don't need to know the reasons, but... None of none of none of them were changed. So, um, 
that says to me either you, you, you really doesn't care about how I'm going to vote or, or you just doing what you have to do your, your own way. So with that being said, uh, and I'm okay with going over the, the, the things that we, we talked about in, at the meeting and see what we could do. I don't have any problem with voting on it, but the way, it is, the way it's looking right now, um, you know, one of the main item was I wanted the CRA to, sep to be separate from, from this contract because the CRA is the separate entity from the city. And we may decide as a board to give you whatever we want to do as the CRA, not the city. And one of the questions that I asked you was, what if the CRA doesn't get renewed? Then it's in the contract unless there's a statement, which I'm not even comfortable with having a statement in the city contract. Because I think with Where do you see that? Mr. Where Sor that? Well, it's, it's, it's in one of the terms. With Mr. Sori or um, the previous manager, um, Mr. Ghani, I think we gave them something a little bit more than you were you were asking for, but it was not part of their contract. It was it's a separate entity. That's at least one of the things that I would like to bring out and, and say publicly. It, it says on the bottom that this supplement is subject to CRA board ratification. I, I know, um, okay. Councilwoman. I, what I said to him, I would like for it to be at least a separate entity from th that. I, I didn't want that to deal with the city's contract. You know, the CRA, we are a different board. Uh, we, we may ha have a completely new board um, from the CRA, so, so I would feel very comfortable if it was um, we deal with it. So on I, had the make, I had, if, if we can talk, I mean. Yes, we can, we can, absolutely, so we can. It was originally a $220,000 offer. We have budgeted 200000 exactly. So that was I, another So question. I made a recommendation, which Mr. Spring agreed to, so um, it'll be 200 for the manager and a 20 supplement for the CRA. So we can still do that, and maybe that do that with some kind of side memorandum <coughs> of understanding that in addition, l like a little mini contract that the CRA, if it's continued, I mean, but that's the intention, and I don't know where else to put it, but is he's getting, he's agreed to 200,000 as a manager. A and part of the agreement as presented is another 20,000 if he is a CRA director. If we sunset or we don't, or the board doesn't approve it, he understands that his salary will be in fact 200,000. Well, so, that, that, that's so maybe the problem. So maybe Mr. Um, manager or Mr. Attorney could tell us where else we could put that 20,000. Well, 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 wait, 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 um, I'm sorry, please. I had a problem with the 200,000, just like I did with um, Mr. Cuzzo. Uh, just saying, okay. that's the maximum. Um, I would sit, put a, a counter offer if the board would allow whatever the case is because what it seems to me is he's he is taking or accepting this position at, at 220. Our maximum is 200. So we could very well decide <coughs> at the CRA level that we want to give him 25,000 or 15,000. So I don't want it to be where we're making a decision here then when we go back to the CRA, because the CRA is supposed to be sending us to us to the council, not us the council sending things to the CRA. Correct, Mr. Attorney. That that is correct. Okay. Uh, the the CRA council, although it's the same body, it's still subordinate to this to this mayor and council. So, my my thing is, if we, if we have to have a clean contract, if it's going to be one ninety one nine, whatever the amount we decided here. And then whatever the CRA does, if we decided at, at, at the CRA we're going to give him twenty or thirty thousand, that's up to us. That was my my, um, my two concerns. Okay, Mr. Mayor, can I Go say ahead. something? I think the CRA and the city manager's position is two entity. That means your contract as a city manager shouldn't include the CRA. At the CRA board, if we decide to appoint you as a di CRA director, mm -hmm. then we can add a salary to it. I would prefer that uh, in your contract you exclude completely the CRA and uh, have a contract as a city manager. Then at the CRA board meeting, if we decide to appoint, we appoint you as a CRA director, then we're going to add a salary to it. That's a compromise. I don't know if you're okay with that. I guess in re well, in response to your uh, your 
Corey Weissmeyer. I just, I don't want you, I, I want it known on the record that I did not willfully ignore what you said. I did put the, the clause in there that actually made it subject to the CRA approval. Um, and I guess simultaneously made my request of the, of the CRA, given the fact that my understanding is as part of my duties in the duty section is to be the executive director of the CRA. Um, and that is, that is also listed in the contract. That is a provision in the contract. I don't think it is. It is, it is listed in the duties. Yeah, on page one. Yeah, well, okay, one that's the other thing. <coughs> so what if this body, and I'm just saying this, and I'm not saying that. What if this body at the CRA meeting want to hire a new director? I mean, are we, I'm, I'm just saying that. I'm not saying that that's what we're going to do. Then we have, the, we have the ability under this contract to do so because it says it's a, this provision is subject to uh, ratification by the CRA board. We have no, that right. No, I, I understand that. But if we accept it as is, so we either, we, let's just say a couple months down the line, we want to bring in a, a new director, then what happened? What if we don't even have a CRA? Then what happened? He gets it's nothing. But that's why we broke it into two amounts, and it's subject to ratification. So we will. The the twenty thousand um, dollars uh, above and beyond his um, city manager's salary of two hundred thousand would have to be ratified by the CRA right. board. An, the uh, another way of doing this would be setting his city city manager's salary at two hundred thousand dollars. And then the CRA board may decide on a particular amount, yeah. and that would be an um, addendum to this agreement. Yeah, now you're keeping more two more things yeah. separate, separate yeah. Yeah. but he, you're, you're getting to the same number. Right. Okay. And, w and that would be subject to the, uh, the, uh, the addendum would be subject to your particular passing a resolution with a given amount, and then that would serve as an uh, addendum to this agreement. Now you have both. So if we get this, though, are we bound to – Get him as the man as the CRA executive director. No, okay. The CRA board is a, is a is a separate is a separate entity. You know that you're gonna have to vote at the CRA meeting to make Mr. Sprague the executive director. Not yeah. yourself, okay? At the meeting, so it's it's, it's completely separate, regardless. It, so that will include, but that doesn't mean we have to. That the CRA board has to hire him, and it also is subject to him ratifying that our, our it, that, it, CRA That's board why I wanted it separate, because now we, we the, the legal thing of it. Okay, so Mr. Spring. So, oh, that's 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 right. that's no, I was going to say, as a so compromise, do you want to exclude the I CRA can, part? I can, if, that, if it makes it uh, more palatable, I certainly will do that. That would oh, be both in number okay. two and six. Yeah. In number yeah. two and six? Yeah. We exclude the CRA, you're going to hire you as a city manager with a salary of 200000 Then the CIA, we will decide at the CIA level. Once that decision is made, then you could inclu include it in this agreement as an addendum, as I just indicated. We don't have to put an addendum. We just got to pass a resolution, come up with a memo, and, and by, the board, but by the CIA board, not by this body. I don't think this body can decide for the CIA. That's, 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 point. that's my right point. Right now, the way it's set now. <coughs> is it correct, Mr. Clark? <laughs> this one <laughs> little point. thing you guys have to remember. In the event you completely exclude the CRA language from this agreement, mm -hmm. which would make sense if you want to keep your options open, if this agreement is approved, so that means let's assume you want to keep him on as a CRA executive. What if he says, no, he want more than 20000 Then what are you going to do? He's not going to be bound by the $20,000 increase. He might want a $60,000 increase. No, because it's up to us to turn that down. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's up to us. Yeah. Or that the CRA board. The CRA board. Yeah, the CRA board. And whatever the board d decide, we have to re rectify here at the council. Okay, that so body cannot vote on behalf of the, the CRA right CRA. now. Okay, okay so that, that point is, is the, my, my next thing. Miss, so what would be the, because I want to feel comfortable, what would be the lowest amount? You, so is the 200 your final, final offer? Um, <laughs> and I know we kind of had this conversation, you and sure I don't want to respectfully do not want to negotiate against myself. Okay. I put the 200,000 um, with regards to looking at um, other managers with my, my level of experience um, that I bring to the table, particularly as, as I look at what the city is facing. I looked at your, the salary history of the previous managers um, and my, again, my experience and, and performance relative to 
uh, those managers, and I made I came up with this number. Okay. And I and I and I feel that is a fair number. Okay. No. Well, I, I feel you're worth more, but that's not the the, <laughs> the point where we are. He probably I is. know. He I'm sorry. He probably no, is. but you know what, the Councilwoman Keys, if you could recall, you were the lead advocate of putting the salary at 175. I'm the one who actually asked the council to increase it to 200. So if it was the other way around, and I'm surprised nobody saying nothing, like 200 is a whole bunch of money. You could have asked for 300. That, th the point is, if we're going to act as a principal, <coughs> let's look at maybe, you know, looking. I, I would really, really feel if we start somewhere where we get up to the 200 versus, that's the cap. The cap is 200. So I don't want everybody to think the cap is starting at 200 because um, the previous manager was making 220, everybody was saying, and that's including the, the, the CRA, was like it was too much, it was too much. All of a sudden, I'm not hearing nothing. So I want it if we are have a, a unified, it's, it, it has nothing to do with you, it's just a matter of, a, of the principal. Because if it was going the other way, you would have start, you had to start or, or cap at 175. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, yes, I absolutely fought for 175. I'm very frugal with our money, but I think Mr. Spring is extremely qualified, and I don't have a problem with that 200. I also, am, we're also facing another contract that we're not discussing this evening, but we're at that same level, and I think that and what I had a problem with that. Too. Well, um, I, th I think you're, you know, you're. That's about what we're looking at for the other contract, and I believe <coughs> the custom of, I don't even know if it's in our charter, but normally our city attorney and our manager get the same amount, and I think I think that's just the rate that you're looking at. The other, um, you've got an extremely qualified attorney coming in who's gonna want that kind of salary. Um, we may be starting again if we go back down to 175, I don't know, and no, no, um, no. so uh, I'm, I'm just saying yeah. I'm comfortable with 200. Mr. Mayor, is a motion in, in uh, order at this point? No, there is no motion has been made yet. I'll make a motion to approve the contract as uh, presented. No, excluding the CRA. Oh, ex excuse me, as amended as it refers to the CRA language. There was actually two modifications. I, I agreed to accept the increases that the, the staff would get and as well as the uh, to, the to move the CRA addendum out. So there was two I'll restate my motion. I'll motion that we <coughs> accept the uh, contract proposal with the amendment, uh, the two amendments addressing the percentage of staff uh, salary increases as it would correlate with Mr. Spring's contract and what's the other one now? The CRA, CRA amendment. And that the CRA <laughs> language be uh, mm -hmm. removed. I'd second that. And any language from the CIA should be removed from the contract. Right. I have a motion made by Councilman Galvin to approve tab M as is with amendment as the amendments were stated by Councilman Galvin on the record. That motion was seconded by Councilwoman Keys. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. All opposed? No. Item passes 4-1. All right, thank the full council. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Attorney. Um, so who do I yell about? The reason, excuse me, can I, can I? The reason that I had a, a question with, it was just the salary uh, um, portion, but since Jeff is not here, his attorney is not, is, is here. And my understanding is that the salary is gonna stay the same. My question was regarding the salary with Jeff, so we could just go ahead and vote on his as well. Since his uh, um, attorney is here, I'm just making that motion because that was my main question with you can um, bring it back. Mr. Can I, huh? no, yes. you can bring can it I back. please bring it back and get that out? Because I wanted to specifically target the salary, but um, Councilwoman Keys made it very clear it'll be the same, so I, I could care less he's not here. So can I bring it back, Mr. Mayor? Tab L. You can bring mm -hmm. it back. 
So we're gonna um um I'm gonna reread tab L into the record proposed resolution of the mayor and city council of the city of North Miami, Florida, authorizing and approving the execution of an employment agreement with the city attorney in substantially the attached form, authorizing the interim city manager to do all things necessary to effectuate the terms of the agreement, providing for an effective date and for all other purposes. We can go right, the, so we open public forum or um, is the citizen public hearing? A public hearing for the city manager. City attorney. It's late. It's After 11. <laughs> public hearing is closed. We already heard from I'll you. I'll move approval of Mr. Cazot's contract. Second. Um, Ms. Gretchen? Ms. Sure. Okay, um, Mr. Cazos, um, I spoke with um, Mr. Cazos' attorney this afternoon because I just, um, I guess, received it yesterday. Um, there were three items in there. One, we added uh, cause uh, for um, termination would be a bar reprimand. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, the second is the contract request 220, um, so I'm recommending we bring that down to 200. I don't know if he agreed to that. I'm authorized to say Mr. Cazzo did agree. Okay, and the other was the um, percentage, the 3% uh, increase across um, every year, and um, I had recommended we make that uh, the same increase as the other directors. Which I am also agreed. authorized to say Mr. Cazzo agrees to that. So. Did, did Madam Councilman want me to pr provide the explanation of the National Bar Association? No, I was good with that. Okay. I'm good. Now, when you have a reprimand from the bar, does that mean you cannot practice on, until that's resolved? Or can you explain that to me? Uh, there are different levels of sanction or prejudice by the Florida bar. Um, you may be suspended without the right to practice. You may be suspended with the right to practice. <laughs> Either way, uh, they would constitute a reprimand under the contract. So in the event that Mr. Cazzo receives a reprimand, which there are different levels. There's admonishment. There's public admonishment. There's private admonishment. Mm -hmm. There's disbarment. There's suspension. There's three months, six months permanent disbarment. There's different levels. But those go through an ethics panel uh, referred to a Florida Bar Council. Uh, there's an adjudication. And there are different levels of reprimand that would be reported to the city council in the event of anything like that. So for the purpose of this contract, is any reprimand? Yes, uh, yes, really? Your so Honor. And, it, and it's not automatic termination. Mm -hmm. If we felt that the reprimand was not called for something that we weren't that concerned with, he could stay. Mm -hmm. um, if he was disbarred <laughs> or he had was suspended, he obviously could <coughs> not practice law and could not represent us. But I'm saying if there's a reprimand, uh, it would be up to the council. It would it would it would serve as cause if we wanted to terminate this. And those are a matter of public record easily available on the Florida Bar's website. Okay. As the maker of the motion I accept the uh, friendly amendment suggested by Councilman Keith. A second. All right, so I have a motion made by Councilman Galvin to approve tab L with the amendment as stated on the record. That motion was then seconded by Mayor Joseph. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Item passes with a 5-0 vote. And for the record, this is the second vote on tab L, so you will see in the minutes the first vote, which showed the motion to continue, and the second vote will be stated under that the state that it was approved, just so that we can have clear minutes. Thank you, Mayor. I think that ends the agenda. Thank you. Citizen Forum is now open. said citizen, we didn't say lobby. Oh. <laughs> Evan Ross, 1941. Not Miami citizens. <laughs> <laughs> you said citizen. Go ahead. Evan Ross, 1941, <laughs> South Oak Haven Circle. Congrats to uh, Mr. Spring mm -hmm. and Mr. Cazell. <laughs> I just wanted to take a moment. Last <coughs> night, uh, I had the occasion to have to dial 911 in North Miami um, due to a person who appeared a danger to themselves or other people. And uh, the response time from the time the operator answered until the first officer responded was no more than three minutes. Uh, the officers did a fantastic job of handling the situation. Well, well, were they driving an Uber car? Uh, don't think so. No Uber? But uh, they did a fantastic job of handling the situation as well as defusing a potential other one that arose uh, at the same time. So I just wanted to take a moment to commend the police department and the officers who responded. Thank you. Where's the timer? Good evening. Uh, my name is Alina Medina. I live at 1270 Northeast 124th Street. And I really like 
I love my neighborhood. I love <coughs> the house that I live in. Uh, it's very, it, you know, it's it's surrounded by trees. The only thing that um, really uh, damages, you know, my the time at my home is is um, this music. This is only a small a small sample of the music that I have from Spotmaster. I live diagonally across the back of Spotmaster, and this is nothing. I mean, this is. I had to spend, we spent $30,000 in windows to mitigate the noise. Still the noise comes inside. And my, my room, my bedroom, has uh, fumes that come when I'm sleeping. So this is even at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, even at otherwise, uh, you know, uh, when there's the noise, uh, ordinance is supposed to be in effect. And uh, Mr. Mayor, I sent you videos, uh, city manager as well, even though this has continued for over a year. Thank you. Good afternoon. No, good evening now. Uh, my name is Hector Medina. I live at 1270 Norris, 124th Street. I start what you did was for the ladies tonight. So I changed, I didn't find one single Latina. What can we do? Uh, I just need a clarification here because uh, uh, Dr. Smith here, he was in a meeting, in a town hall meeting, and he said in front of uh, who was Vice Mayor Keys and uh, the acting city manager, he said that the city clerk was supposed to close and had the power to close the spot master. And then he starts screaming that he wasn't our slave and you know, I don't know, and call the police and all that crap. And I'm done with this. You know, if you don't do your job, it's not that hard to fire a mayor. It's not that hard to fire any of you. You work at, <laughs> at our pleasure. You only have to collect signatures. It will cost me more, less than $5,000. So you should know that. So uh, I want a clarification. Did you close them or you didn't? Because the city manager said that he refused to answer if they have an operation, if they have a permit to operate. No, no, you don't have to. You don't have to. No, I don't want you to. I don't want you to. Let him make his, his, his statement. And we want to hear him? It. What are you, chicken? No. It's okay. I have to sit. I'll, Let I'll him have his two minutes. He has, he, has, he has two minutes. So he well, to another talk. thing, Mr. Mayor. Hmm? I don't know where you come from, but this, uh, you are extremely rude with the public. Extremely rude. You know, and uh, you need to change that. This is no Haiti. This is no France. You don't raise your nose and look the other way. We don't like French people here. We don't. I'm a third generation American. We don't like this crap. So you need to fix that. You cannot be this rude and be the mayor of a city in the United States of America. Good night. Citizen Forum is still open. Citizen Forum is still open. Um, I just wanted to, again, publicly thank the board um, for your appointment and your approval tonight. Um, extremely excited about getting started. Um, I've actually already, and working with Mr. S Mr. Sori and, and Natasha, we've already started having some internal meetings, talking about transition, and um, very certainly looking forward to it. Um, Arthur, I thank you again for your leadership, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with you uh, over these next couple of years. Uh, so. Again, I just want to thank the full council, and I appreciate your 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 support. Thanks. Laura Hill, one thirty seventy five Griffin Boulevard. No, it wasn't close. Um, I want to congratulate our new city manager, Larry Spring. Um, I read that one of your first priorities will be to increase <coughs> customer service in our city, and I'm thrilled to hear that. Uh, it's going to be a really tough job that you have that you're stepping into. I wish you the best of luck. I would encourage you to look at all of your departments and find out where the problems are, what's frustrating to residents and people doing business in this city because it is frustrating. There's a lot of people that I know who used to come to these city council meetings who just don't want to come anymore because a lot of times you just leave really disillusioned where we are in our city. You know, people give the residents, they give their time. You know, you guys are being paid to be up here. 
your public servants, but the residents who show up here time after time after time, that's public service. And a lot of them don't want to come anymore. They don't want to go into the business or into the building department. They don't want to go into the utility department because it's frustrating and the service is lacking in a lot of ways. So I think that is a huge job. I think you're being compensated fairly for it. And I wish you the best of luck. And I hope you go into each department and look for the problems that are happening that are frustrating residents and business owners. Thank you. <coughs> William Prevatel, 11950 North Bayshore Drive. Uh, I do want to congratulate our new uh, city manager, our new city attorney, uh, but even more so I'd like to extend our appreciation for the service by our uh, acting city uh, manager and acting city attorney uh, for the long period of time and their great level of dedication. I hope they are with the city and continue their service uh, as well as they have been. It's been very much appreciated. Um, just wanted, since this is Citizens Forum, I just wanted to touch back on the item uh, of earlier. And I wanted to, uh, what I didn't say was I thought the, the doc situation was almost a godsend. And that if you clear away whether the staff did something right or wrong and other, the minutia of this, and you just said we have a 100 foot wide <coughs> canal, and it was brand new, and you said we already are set with 19 foot homes. <laughs> Who in their right mind would have said 15, 20 feet deep? You would have said, hey, we really need something 25, if not more, deep. That goes down to that. It's really a very simple planning issue, and we've made it so complicated. It's taken up so much time. It's now gone to the legal department. It's going to our planning department, to our building department. We're going to come back. People are going to speak again. My God. And again, as I said earlier, it's five feet of water, and it's not the entire amount. It's just periodic projections five feet more than what it is on a 100-foot canal. And yet, don't we have better things to concern ourselves with? We have so many issues that could go forward to get stumbled up on something like this. This is not 25 feet extra or 100 feet extra. Five feet. Please, I, I hope the next time this comes around, this will just, just breeze right through. It really should not be an issue, and it will, you know, it's an opportunity to make our community better. It's just bottom line, it makes it better and the entire neighborhood and the entire city. Thank you very much for your future consideration. Thank you. Yelling, good morning, it's still good evening. Annie Montgomery, 2082, Laurel Lane, also known as 124th Street. I want to thank our deputy city manager and our deputy city attorney. They have done a tremendous job. The issue with the boat lifts, and I call them lifts, it's not docks, should have happened a year and a half ago. It was a previous city <coughs> attorney was aware of it. Previous city manager was aware of it. And this shouldn't have to fall on these gentlemen's shoulders. But I thank you for your time, and good luck to both of you. We'll see you. Okay, thank you. Citizen Forum is now closed. Uh, we'll go to reports. I believe, Mr. Clerk, uh, we, uh, you can go first so a, that you can be relieved of your duties. I have an early flight tomorrow. I just wanted to remind the public um, regarding the board attendance, the that clerk office nice. Do not store that information. A lot of members who want to be a member of the board, um, if you want to know who's not showing up, you can speak to the board liaisons. They're the ones who keep track of that attendance. And if you find out that someone is not <coughs> showing up, you can bring it to the council person's attention and let them know that you want to be appointed to that board. If you have any questions and you want to know what the, who the liaisons are, the Office of the City Manager have a list of those. And if you want to get in contact with the council members, I would give you their personal cell phone number. So good night, everyone, and mayor and council, thank you so much. Good night. Where are you going? I'm going to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> He's opening an office there, too. That's He's really expanding. <laughs> He's going to see Bernie. That's what <laughs> <laughs> Where's it, clerk? It, Who's it, gonna anybody I'm else with, with reports? Who's going to take the minute? I have no reports. I
would just like to thank Arthur. Arthur, you've done a great job. You stepped in, and um, I think you've really held our city together. You've done great. And um, I know you'll be a great help to um, Larry. And congratulations, Larry. And Roland, uh, Mr. Galdos, thank you. You've been working really hard. I know you will be welcoming the extra the extra help. So thank you for everything. It's been a tough road. And everybody save up your e-waste and your paper shredding. We're going to have an e-waste Earth Day event on April 16th, which is a Saturday. Yes, Mayor. Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor, um, I have a quick question for the city manager as part <laughs> of my um, report. What's going on with the filming and the violation that's been going on? Because the, the, the emails back and forth, I, I spoke to two different people, some from this side, and, and what, what is the city doing regarding well, that? Let me um, say it, and, and I should have sent the email to the entire council, and I didn't. Um, I did speak with the resident, um, the, the, the questioned house with the filming of the, the stuff, and, and I spoke to him about some of the concerns of, of his fellow um, neighbors, neighbors, and the resident did uh, agree to withdraw his application for this particular uh, film, filming that was going to happen on Thursday, and said he would work on his relationship with his neighbors and talk to them and be more selective and, and on which items he did allow to be filmed at his house to, to, you know, to ease the traffic and maybe you know, ensure that he only did it you know, here and there uh, to be a good neighbor to his neighbors. So we had a, a very good resolution to it. He was happy and the city's happy and the residents are happy. But um, since we have an ordinance only three per year, can is it possible we let uh, uh, Mr. George know who is sending the email that if they do have an issue that they think it's over the three, at least they call the police department so we'll have it on record because right now we didn't have nothing except that one incident. Yes, yeah. and we'll, we'll make sure that they're on record for now on. Uh, we ha have spoken to code enforcement. I spoke to the neighbors. And, and, and it let them know what we had on record. So, and, and I did speak to the homeowner, and, and we're everyone's on the same page now, but code enforcement will monitor the situation also. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Councilman? No reports, no? No reports? No. Uh, well, the only reports uh, that I, I do understand that uh, country bill contract is due to expire in three months. Is it three months? Four months? It expires August 31st, 2016. What does it call for for renewal? For, uh, is it 90 it days? Or? Um, we will need to make a decision. Um, 90 days, we would have to put something out to bid 90 days prior to. Uh, uh, it, um, we have to put something out to bid 90 days prior to the end of this contract. So, if it's the 30, so if it's the three months, our <laughs> Well, we are in April now. Oh. But that's four months. So in four, we in, in, in about actually in our next visit, we have to give. Uh, not next visit, next next meeting. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I, um, just one second. I do want to congratulate um, Councilman <laughs> Galvin <laughs> <laughs> on the Donald Trump. I did donate to the cause. Um, um, yeah, but yeah, I, I kind of figured, but it's you all over Facebook. Yes, he's a Trump supporter. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna build the wall. For those that don't know, I uh, I'm a new police board of directors of the AIDS Health Cares Foundation. We run the Florida AIDS Walk. Thanks, sorry. I'm a member of the board of directors of the AIDS Healthcare Foundation who organizes the um, Florida AIDS Walk, which was held this past weekend. And I always do something silly and gimmicky to raise money. Um, I've dressed as a leprechaun in the past. I've dressed as the Easter Bunny for the walk in the past. This year, I dressed as Donald Trump. Um, and thank you, Councilman <laughs> DeSolde, for donating. And uh, former Mayor Burns was in the room who donated, and others who donated, Hector. Uh, thanks to your support, I raised close to $8,000. And I made a buffoon of myself walking up down Fort Lauderdale Strip for a few hours. And a good time was, was had by all, except for a couple people I think were really confused. Um, so, yeah, yeah well, trust me, some people were like, <laughs> what's going on with you? But uh, I uh, don't know what I'm going to do next year for the, the walk, but I appreciate everybody's support this year. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Uh, last thing, last but uh, Mr. Manager, new manager, welcome among us. As you know, I've already expressed to you many times that I look forward to uh, 
fruitful uh, relationship, and I trust that uh, you will come with a wealth of knowledge, and not Miami will benefit from that. And Arthur, sorry. Uh, I, I, I just couldn't wait to get rid of you as manager. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know you're a good guy, and you and you've done such a wonderful job, you know, keeping the fort, you know, while we went through this process. Again, congratulations! Uh, but you are here, and yeah. let's just keep on working for the benefit of our, of our residents. Thank you very much and, for and what you do. Just for my small report, unless you want to go, you have something rolling. Oh. For my small report, um, I'd like to thank the council for allowing me the co-pilot to pilot the plane for these five months. I really appreciate your confidence in me and allowing me to um, to get the experience under my belt. Um, I'd like to, you know, thank the staff as well who did work hard. I'm, I don't know if you guys know it, I'm very tough to deal with, uh, but the staff, um, you know, i like to thank all of the staff people. Um, I'm looking forward to working with Mr. Spring. I think the one person who doesn't get the credit in this would be Natasha, who really had to step up um, and basically serve the role of the, the deputy city manager um, during the last um, five and a half months. Um, she took mo mo most of the beating from me, um, but I'd like to thank her for her patience. And, and um, I think her and I both will sleep well tonight, um, knowing that now we can put some of this weight on Mr. Spring. So. Looking forward to working with Mr. <laughs> Spring, and um, I assure you, you guys will uh, I have uh, probably the, the, the best tandem, management tandem that we've had in probably like the last 15 years. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Attorney. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Well, <laughs>